Welcome, Mr. President. Will you be seated, please? Mr. President, Mr. Simon, Governor Bond, Mr. Bush, special guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm Donald Lassiter, and it has been my privilege to serve as chairman of this testimonial, which provides a grand climax to a series of events which began yesterday in New Orleans, and which have included drama, excitement, and this opportunity to recognize one of our nation's most prominent sportsmen all for the benefit of our number one national sports cause, our Olympic athletes. We are privileged this evening to have as our master of ceremonies someone who personifies what the U.S. Olympic program is all about. Mike Aruzioni, on my left, was captain of the U.S. hockey team which performed what has come to be known as the miracle of Lake Placid. To many, it stands as the most memorable American Olympic team achievement of all times. Mike was more than the captain of the American squad. He scored the winning goal in our semi semifinal victory over the vaunted Russian team, all but assuring our gold medal win over Finland in the final match. Today, Mike broadcasts hockey and other sports for the Madison Square Garden Television Group and is closely associated with Anheuser-Busch in the promotion of its Olympic programs. In welcoming Mike Arosioni, let's join in reliving that magic moment at Lake Placid. And immediately after the conclusion of this brief videotape, Russ David and his orchestra will play our national anthem. Thank you. appreciate it uh, as much as I do because I, I watch it quite a bit and my dad watches it quite a bit. <laughs> but when it's over, we win every single time, you know? And uh, I've stopped playing hockey. I don't have to play the Russians again. Um, and again, like I said, my father, sometimes I'll come home at night, it'll be about two o'clock in the morning and he'll be sitting there just coming home from work and he'll say, Mike, sit down, I wanna watch that Russian game again. <laughs> but he sits and he watches it just like it's the, live. I says, Dad, we're going to win. Don't worry, I'm going to bed. And he says, no, no, it might change. You never know. <laughs> so it's, it's funny what happens to, to athletes and to people when they win. Um, hey, heck, if we lost, I wouldn't be here. You know? uh, Mr. President, if you lost, I don't know if you'd be here. <laughs> you know? Uh, really. You, you never know. You never know what happens in your life. I look at things that's happened to me since we've won. I got five marriage proposals in the mail. Right? Not one picture was sent with those proposals. I talked to Jimmy Carter on the telephone after we won. Uh, he never called me before. And what, it's been almost three years and I haven't heard from him since. Um, all because you win. I, I got a car dealership that gave me a brand new Mazda RX-7 for a year. A year later, they came and took the car away. <laughs> so it, it's an honor for me to be here and to honor Mr. Bush and for the, the President of the United States. My friends don't believe me. I got to get pictures of this. <laughs> you know, they think I'm just going to St. Louis and drink some beer and watch the Cardinals play. <laughs> and win. And win, yes. <laughs> but I guess it 
you have to take things as they come, and I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, I am here tonight, and I'm very proud of the fact that all you people showed up for a cause that uh, the real reason is the Olympics. To stand on the podium and to represent your country is probably one of the greatest thrills an athlete can receive. And to have USA written across your jersey, uh, you know, you saw it and you witnessed it, but you had to stand there and just feel it. So before uh, we get on with the dinner and, and Michael Reagan, because he's also a big reason why we're here, I think we should call upon uh, here we, the Archbishop of St. Louis, the most reverend. Power is a gift to you from the Lord. Sovereignty is from the Most High. He himself will probe your acts and scrutinize your intentions. We pray then for him. The Archangel, Michelangelo, great painter, um, Michael Ruzioni, <laughs> who, who with his teammates conquered the mighty Russians, uh, Michael Rorty, who conquered, <laughs> right? Michael conquered Detroit, and Michael Reagan, a guy that went out and accomplished something that hasn't been done in 10 years. And, and people watch it and they see it and they say, isn't that nice? But to be behind the wheel and to drive the car and to do it running out of gas, I mean, how do you do that? It's just incredible what, what people can do when they put their mind to it. So I think what we should do right now is bring Michael up. And Michael, I, I think the best thing for you to do is explain to us how, in God's name, you got here without any gas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Reagan. It was government sponsors, but <laughs> don't I wish. The, uh, do I call you dad or Mr. President? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you. <laughs> Good, we're on the same terms. <laughs> I guess dad, <laughs> Mr. Bush, and honored guests, it's, it's really a, a pleasure to be here this evening and, and be part of all this. Of course, we had a do a lot of things just to have dinner with you, Dad. We had to drive 1,027 miles because, you see, I've lived under Reaganomics longer than anybody here in the building. <laughs> right? I couldn't afford the plane fare, so we drove. Uh, you know, about eight months ago, a friend of mine and I had an idea, Larry Smith, and Larry Smith had the idea. I'm still looking for Larry. But uh, Larry came to me and said, why don't we do an event and why don't we race up the Mississippi? And I have been involved with the United States Olympic Committee fundraising a group of people whose job it is to raise the money to train our athletes, which is going to cost about $79 million. We are the only member of the 149-member International Olympic Committee nation that is not funded by our government, but funded by people. And that's why this function tonight and the assault on the Mississippi. And I asked Larry if it would be all right if our company put it together and packaged it as a program to raise money for the United States Olympics. And there was a lot of sponsors involved in this, and I, I'm going to go through them tonight because they really deserve it. And all these people, Dad and, and Mr. Bush, uh, who was also involved, uh, did it uh, not for any notoriety of their own. Uh, but there was about $750,000 worth of equipment on the Mississippi the last two days, and these people took time out of their lives because they believe, as we all do here tonight, that the most important product in this country is our athletes and our young people, and uh, that's what we're raising that money for. And I'd like to introduce to you my crew. I think they're sitting up here. Uh, Mike Lowe, who is our, our navigator, left the hand. Stand up, Mike. He's Mike, Mike was a navigator, and he, uh, he's a 15-year riverboat pilot, and he asked myself and Johnny Mann, who's sitting at the table also, who is the throttle man, stand up, John, uh, to trust him last night. And we trusted him because we, we had a problem, and we couldn't start our generator to put on the lights to go up from Vicksburg to, what was, where were we at at that time, Greenville or somewhere? And uh, 
Mike said, trust me, I'll read the uh, radar. And we said, how far should we trust you? He says, well, when I take my left hand on the dash and I move it to the left, you turn left. When I turn it right, you go right. When I do this, go straight ahead. So, John <laughs> so we turned on the lights. But I tell you, a big hand for them because uh, they, they were right there in the boat. And John was handling the, the throttles. And, and uh, of course, Mike was getting us here. And I was just the monkey behind the wheel driving the boat. And John just kept on pumping the gas. But there's also, I think, another boat still out on the river uh, coming in. We put a team of three boats together. And uh, Larry Smith was the head of one team with Bill Marriott and, and Howard Arnison. Third time when he was 60 years old with his son. Bill Tetford, are you here? Where are you? Stand up. Of course, I must also explain. We even spelled your name right. <laughs> this is the official jacket. Again, I just like to thank all, because we've been kind of spread out since we got in, but I like to thank all the team members from everybody for everything they did and for the cause you did it for, because, because of tonight's event, yesterday's event with the Vice President of the United States at our luncheon kickoff, plus the donations from W.R. Grace and Chipwich and many other people, and the help of Anheuser-Busch, we're going to be able to give the United States Olympic Committee a check for a half a million dollars. Still didn't say how you did it without gas, but that's all right. I guess before, <laughs> before